Good afternoon, North Shore Church. Here we are once again, another Wednesday. Beautiful day outside. Nice day outside for a good uh, North Shore Connect. Uh, this first Wednesday in November. This first Wednesday in November, uh, November 4th. Here we are together, North Shore Connect. Uh, uh, I think um, we've been talking about Thanksgiving. We're going to not talk about that today because I want to bring up this whole su other subject. And I think you know what I'm talking about. But before we do that, I just want to tell you, you know, we've been talking about fall is football. And uh, I thought I'd support my uh, Pacific Lutheran University or sport my Pacific Lutheran University sweatshirt in honor of my son, Justin. Go Lutes. Yeah, and uh, Lutes. so uh, anyway... Uh, I'm wearing that today. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about, though, specifically, is this subject of trust. I know a lot of us have been praying leading up to this election, and uh, today is Wednesday, the day after. There's a lot of unknowns, a lot of uncertainty swirling around. Uh, I'm sure some people are getting a little stressed out, uh, a little disappointed because things aren't going the way they think they should go or want them to go, and on and on and on it goes. Um, so I, I was just thinking this morning about this whole subject and about uh, the election and everything that's gone on. And uh, the, the word that I just came come, keep coming back to uh, is the word of trust. Uh, in times of uncertainty, this is where, the, this is where the, the question comes in. Who do we trust? Who are you going to trust in? Because I think ultimately what we're learning is uh, we got to trust in God. Uh, and that's that's the bottom line and the, and I think the scripture there's a couple of verses but there's all kinds of verses that talk about trust uh, I could re I could have read off a, a bunch of different ones to you but I just want to read off a couple that I, I found in Psalms this morning and just thinking about this subject of trust the first one is Psalm chapter 9 verse 10 it says and those who know your name put their trust in you those who know your name put their trust in you because you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. So we need to put our trust in him. The other one, the other one was Psalm 27, Psalm 27. And it says, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord, our God. So we don't trust in anything other than God. We can put our trust in other things. We can put our trust in government, Democrat, Republican, uh, this president, that president, this Congress, that Congress, uh, whatever the case may be. Ultimately though, in times of uncertainty, we've got to trust in God. We've got to believe in God. We've got to know that God knows what's happening. God knows what's going on. He understands, he sees, and he's working something and we just gotta trust him. We gotta trust him. We can't get freaked out. We can't fret, we can't worry, we can't doubt. I know it's easier said than done, but friend, I'm telling you, uh, we just gotta trust God. And it sounds so simple, and in, in many respects, we kinda go, well, that just makes it, boils it down to such a simple uh, reality. But really, it is a simple reality. The, 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 the choice is ours. Uh, we can either trust in him, trust in him or not. And if we don't, what are we left with? I mean, we're left with stress, worry, doubt, fear, anxiety. That's what we're left with. So I think the best thing for us to do uh, is to trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? We don't trust in chariots. We don't trust in horses. Uh, we trust in the name of the Lord. And I think that's key for us today, Wednesday. And it'll be key for us tomorrow. And it'll be key for us for the day after that. And whatever happens with this whole election, everything that's going on, all of the uncertainty and unknown, I'm telling you, friend, we got to trust in God today. So I hope that encourages you like it encouraged me. It reminded me once again where to place my trust. I got to place it in him and him alone. And I think that's true for, for all of us today. So I, I just want to pray with you this morning or this afternoon, excuse me, uh, <laughs> that God would just uh, minister to you. And, and give you a sense of peace and calm and a sense of trust and faith and confidence uh, in God. All right, so pray with me, Lord. We just thank you today because we know even though as we look at the scene, 
and uh, it's so filled with uncertainty and 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 uh, we, we're not quite sure all that's going to take place and all that's going to happen nothing seems to be settled uh, but Lord ultimately we just got to trust you we got to trust that you know what you're doing where you're leading where you're guiding where you're moving this nation where you're moving your church your people we got to trust in God we're not going to trust in chariots we're not going to trust in horses we're going to trust in the name of the Lord and so Lord help us today give us confidence today uh, encourage us today uh, let us not be filled with doubt and fear and anxiety but let us just be filled with a confidence because we know that our God is on the throne and he is in charge and we can trust him even if we don't see the big picture even if we don't even know where this ends it doesn't matter we're gonna trust in you so help each and every one of us today I pray in the precious and awesome and mighty trustworthy name of God everybody said amen so Thank you for joining me this afternoon. Don't forget Sunday, uh, join us. If you can't join us in-house, join us online, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, make sure you like on Facebook. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube, whichever one you choose. And uh, we'll see you then. God bless. Have a great day.